everyone, it's Camille. This video is all about why you should not ask your students or clients to exhale all of the air from your lungs. Two reasons. Number one, it's impossible to do. Number two, even if you could do it, it would be a really bad idea. So let's talk about why. Here you can see a little diagram of lung volumes or lung capacities. It's basically showing how much air is in your lungs at any given time. And at rest, when we're just breathing normally, we are breathing in and out what they call this tidal volume. So there's not a ton of air coming in and out, but you know, we're just kind of bopping along at a resting pace. If we are thinking about it, if you're doing breath work, you're just thinking about taking a big breath or perhaps you're exercising, something like that, you can take in much, much more air. This inspiratory reserve volume is quite high relative to the amount that you're normally breathing in at rest. Similarly, if you want to, if you're thinking about it, you can exhale much more than <clears throat> you do in a normal breath. You can <sighs> do what feels like emptying your lungs, and that's called the expiratory reserve volume. But I, what I want you to notice is that even if you completely empty out all of the air that you possibly can, everything you've exhaled as much as you physically can make yourself do, you've still got this residual volume down here that you can't touch. You can't make yourself exhale this residual volume. It's always there. It's always in your lungs. So it's incorrect to ask your students to exhale all of the air out of their lungs. They will never be able to exhale this residual volume. So why? Why would we want to keep some air in the lungs at all time? Not, why not just breathe it all out and breathe it all back in? Well, here's why. So this is a little diagram showing alveoli. Each of these little grape-like structures is an alveolus, and they're attached to a bronchiole, which becomes, uh, they eventually turn into bronchi and into the trachea, etc. So when you breathe in, this is where the air is going, and gas exchange happens across this basement membrane here in the alveolus. So carbon dioxide and oxygen are entering and exiting the blood right here at the alveolar level. Now you can see just from looking at them that each alveolus looks kind of like a balloon. And we can use some analogies there to help us. So when you're blowing up a balloon, if you're starting from scratch and it's completely deflated, that first puff to get it just a little bit inflated is usually the hardest. And then once you've got that down, it's much easier to blow up the rest of the balloon. The same can be said for the alveoli that if there's a little bit of air left in them, it's much easier to fill them up when you come to inhale the next time. And of course, in order for maximum gas exchange to happen, we want them to be filled up with kind of fresh air as we breathe in. There's another factor that comes into play where in the balloon analogy kind of breaks down here, which is that the alveoli actually have a thin coating of surfactant and mucus inside them as well. And what that means is that if you were to fully deflate them, take all the air out, that the, the walls of the alveoli would touch each other, right? They would come together. And because there's this fluid layer there, you would get some surface tension going. And it would actually be even harder to separate those walls when you inhale. It would take a lot of effort to inhale, and we wouldn't get um, as much gas exchange as we otherwise would. And this happens actually in some disease conditions. So this is why, A, we can't exhale all of the air from the lungs, and B, why we don't want to, because we want to keep them a little bit open so that the inhale and the inflation of the alveoli is facilitated. I hope that helps. Uh, if you want some other terminology, something else to say, you can say things like um, exhale as much as you can. You can say something like exhale until it feels as if all the air has left your lungs. Those would both be physiologically accurate or uh, at least not misleading things that you could say to your clients. Uh, and so I encourage you to experiment with your words while you're teaching your next class and hopefully this was a helpful review.